Hello nurse, welcome to Ahmed Coaching and I'm your teacher Dr. Anam. Today we will study about gene therapy. Gene therapy is actually a process in which the insertion of genetic material into the human cell is done for the treatment of disorders. It means that it is like a treatment but in this treatment instead of providing some kind of medicines you are actually providing genes so that you can cure a disorder in the human cells. In this method, disease-causing gene is replaced with a healthy copy of gene. So, because this is a gene therapy, so what will happen that the healthy gene, it is incorporated and the disease-causing gene, it is deleted. There are two different methods which can be used to perform gene therapy. The one is ex vivo, the other is in vivo. Ex vivo means outside the body, ex means outside. This refers to the process of removing specific cells from a person then genetically altering them in the laboratory because we are removing the cells from the person and we are studying them outside the body that is why we are calling it ex vivo. We are going to alter the genetic makeup in the laboratory and then we are going to transplant them back into the person. Here we can see that we have this bone marrow stem cells here in which we can find some defective gene we removed the cells and we can see that there is a defective gene here in the red what we are going to do we are going to use the retroviruses and the retrovirus we have the gene which is healthy gene so this retrovirus it is going to enter into this cell this gene is going to enter into the chromosome and then the default gene is going to be replaced with the healthy one and as the healthy gene is inserted and the defective one is removed now these cells they are again transplanted back into the body here they are going to multiply as they will multiply the disorder it is going to be decreased so this is what we called ex vivo gene therapy this method it can be used to treat certain cancers combined immunodeficiency syndrome as well as cardiovascular diseases but there are some limitations in the ex vivo first of all it requires more time and resources removal of cells creation of retroviruses then infection of retroviruses then again taking the cells back into the cell it is a long process and la large amount of resources are required moreover risk of tumor formation is there because as you are entering the cells here it may happen that in this position the cell they are going to multiply uncontrollably and may produce tumor the next method for the gene therapy is in vivo in mean inside so this is an inside the body method it uses viruses or other methods to deliver gene directly into the cells it means that you don't need to remove the cells out of the body but the gene is directly inserted into the cells of your body when they are present inside your body the cells they don't need to be removed from a person at all so here we have a gene of interest we added this gene of interest into the retroviruses or other viral vectors then this virus is going to infect the patient in the process of infection this healthy gene is going to be incorporated into the genome of the patient and that patient is going to recover but again there are some limitations for the gene therapy of in vivo process the sparse availability of suitable cells for transportation we don't have so many options to transfer the genes into the cells we have retroviruses but not all viruses they are going to help so we have some very limited options for this there is a possibility that the introduction and expression of virus protein may activate endogenous pathogenic viruses as we are using the viruses so there is always the risk of viral infection it may happen that the virus it can cause another pathogenic pathway in the patient so these are some limitations this is our topic gene therapy if you still have any question related to this topic you can ask me in the comment section i will see you in the next video